watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany DeFran with your midday news break. Welcome to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany DeFran. Now, a fresh start to the New Year's is just a few days away. But for now, let's talk about today's midday news break. All right, we're starting with this because doctors say that we are at the center of a triple-demic with COVID, flu, and RSV witnessing a peak in cases. Doctors say more patients come in with coughs, runny nose, and sore throats after large gatherings. Of course, we're seeing so much of that right now with the holiday season. And they also say that there are more cases of upper respiratory infections and stomach bugs. But we have one more big holiday this weekend. Of course, that's New Year's. And doctors are urging us to be careful while we're around others. Take a look. Listen. A lot of these viruses, though, they are transmitted through airborne particles. So even though we're not wearing masks all the time, we're giving six feet bubbles around each other, you know, a couple of feet of personal space can really go a long way to protect other people around you. And they're also recommending that you contact your primary care physician if you are not feeling well. You can also take advantage of walk-in clinics as well. And we're going to stick to the theme of health here because LSU Health Shreveport Center for Emerging Viral Threats will be closed until January 3rd. Now, the hospital says it's because of technical issues. But also, if you were making plans for this, the drive through COVID Vaccine Center on Linwood Avenue is also going to be closed. So if you had plans to go there, you want to make arrangements. But good news here, the vaccines are still available at local pharmacies, so you can still take advantage of those there. And we're going to switch gears here now because Texarkana police are warning people about debit and credit card fraud around the holidays. Police say it usually happens around this time when people leave their cards out in public and the theft can happen before you even know it. If you do become a victim, you want to call your bank as soon as possible and cancel that card immediately. That is really going to help out with the situation. Here, take a listen. Just always guard your property. Uh, purses if you've got your credit card not even just purses but wallets and things like that anywhere you've got your credit card don't give your information out over the telephone if somebody contacts you contact your police to track down the thief and theft charges as soon as possible all right, and we're turning to your national headlines now because Southwest has gotten a lot of attention. They have canceled more than 2,500 flights as of yesterday morning, and there was a massive pile of Southwest baggage claim at Midway Airport in Chicago. More than 12,000 Southwest flights have been canceled since Friday, and the airline has struggled to recover from the harsh winter storm during the holiday weekend. Of course, already people were planning to travel around the holiday weekend, and the winter storm really knocked them down. Now, South Southwest CEO Bob Jordan says he's sorry for the flight disruptions. Meanwhile, the Department of Transportation plans to investigate Southwest cancellations as well as if the airline is meeting its legal obligations to standard passengers. A lot of news here and we've been tracking this since everything has come out, but we want to hear from you now. Let's go ahead and take a look at today's question of the day. All right, here's the QR code so you can go ahead and prompt you to today's question of the day. Go ahead and scan that QR code and we will go ahead and take a look at today's question of the day in just a moment. All right, we're taking a look at today's question of the day here. So what was your holiday airport experience like? So we want to hear from you if you were traveling, but if you were not traveling, you can also participate as well. So we have an option for you chose not to fly. You decided not to even dabble in the craziness of the holiday weekend travel. Looks like that is leading with 80%. Now, um, a few people have mentioned that they did travel and they had a very poor experience or a poor experience because very poor is also another option. You also have very good and good. So go ahead and put your answer here. Tell us what your experience was like if you decided to travel. For more details on these stories, head to ktalnews.com or download the KTAL News Now app. But don't go anywhere. More to come on your midday news break right here. Welcome back to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany DeFran. 
Now, since the Arctic blast hit our region, there have been a slew of water and sewage issues. Now, we're talking about all of that in this midday news break, starting right now. In an update, the city of Shreveport says the boil advisory is still in effect, but everything is on track for the advisory to be lifted sometime today. The water director says almost every customer in the city should have water back and most people should have close to normal water pressure. Now, samples have not been sent out for testing and the city is waiting for those results. So we're, you know, there are many questions there and we are definitely looking into that. Now, the winter storm led to these broken pipes and leaks for residents and businesses are well as well are suffering from these implications. Now, plumbers are working to meet the demand in conjunction with the city, but they say that there's challenges. NBC6's Alicia Gatewood has more as she looked into this. Take a listen. We have this kind of an extreme freeze event with the wind chills and the minus teens. Uh, we're just in an area that we're not prepared for that. What is the biggest concern? Busted water pipes and the damage it causes. Busted pipes and leaks are just a few things plumbers are seeing these days. With failing infrastructure after the wintry mix we've seen this year. But with so many problems and a shortage of plumbers, it's hard to catch them all. And how important is a plumber's job at this time of the year? So oh, very important, very important. Um, there's so many leaks and so many people without water, we try to do everything we can to get to every customer it's, it's in, in a timely manner, but with this many leaks and the shortage of plumbers, it's sort of impossible. And this is just some of the things they have to repair during this time of the year. The director of Legacy Dance Studio, Terry Jackson, is dealing with a few of these problems herself after portions of her studio flooded due to busted pipes. I started to panic a little bit and I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, it's Christmas, don't cry, it's Christmas. So um, I'm, I'm panicking though, no lie. She describes what she saw. I come here and come into the men's room and water is pouring from the back of the toilet and dripping from the ceiling. The studio next to the men's room is completely flooded with water. So I'm thinking about the flooring and the men's room uh, also flooded with water and I was just shaking my head. I was a total loss for words at that moment. She says she's going to rebuild and move forward to continue doing what she loves. That this isn't gonna stop us from business or doing what we do because every tenant in this building love what they do and we're helping a lot of people. Yulisha Gatewood, NBC6 News. Now that is just a first-hand look at just one of so many people that have been impacted by these water issues. Now the winter storm didn't stop there. It also impacted so many travelers as well. And we wanna take a look here with our question of the day. You can download that QR code to answer it. For those people traveling during the holidays, we want to hear from you. What was your experience like? It looks like 80% are saying that they chose actually not to fly at all and stayed away from the hecticness of the holiday travel weekend. But of course, they dodged a bullet there with, of course, the winter storm making it even more difficult than usual. And on the other hand, it has 20% that say their experience was actually very poor. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow on our last midday news break of the year. See you then.